Yo, what is up guys? James here with an awesome stealth class for Call of Duty Ghosts. I hope you guys enjoy. Don't forget to leave a like down below. But this is the class. So your first primary weapon is going to be a submachine gun. You need the K7. And if you guys have used this gun yet, it is going to remind you of an MP5 from Call of Duty 4. This gun is absolutely awesome. It's um, It comes with an integrated silencer. Therefore, it gives you room to put on other attachments. So for your attachments, you're going to need to use the foregrip um, because the K7 has a little bit of kick to it and it can get a little jumpy at times it really just depends on how hard you're uh, trying to get somebody and also the range at which you're trying to get somebody you want to be making sure that you're using this in a close quarters uh, situation or you're running through houses because this is a flanking class so you're gonna want to be tactical when you're using this you want to be thinking about which routes are safer and which route you can get behind the enemy team fast and that will bring us to our secondary and for my secondary I'm not using any you really don't need a secondary with this class since you're going to be up behind the enemy team you can easily kill somebody and pick up their gun so I just don't run secondaries you don't need a tactical either but what you will need is a lethal um, right here this can be your preference you can use anything you want but for me I'm using the throwing knife because I love getting up behind the enemy team and hitting them and surprising them um, with this class it's really fun to use a throwing knife and then that will bring us to the perks for the perks you're going to need to run agility agility uh, increases your movement speed and allows you to get behind the enemy team faster or um, for domination this class is also really good for domination I like to run to B first to try to get my team started and then go over to whichever flag whether it be A or C to get behind them and start killing them in their spawn and then the other um, speed perk that you will need is Marathon because Marathon is critical for this class. It's unlimited sprint. You want to be moving constantly. You don't want to be sitting in corners. This isn't a, a stealth class to be hiding in corners. This is a stealth class so that you're able to flank the other team and kill them as best as you can while you're on the move. So and that brings us to our third perk. The third perk is Dead Silence. You're able to move silently, which is awesome. Um, you guys are probably asking why aren't you using Amplify. You don't really need Amplify in this game. You can hear footsteps really good already. They're very loud, so that's why I'm not using Amplify. I'm using Dead Silence. And that will bring us to the third stealth perk, or fourth perk, sorry, uh, second perk in the stealth class, which is Off the Grid. Off the Grid lets you be undetectable on the minimap by SATCOM and radar pings. Um, if you guys didn't know, the radar pings are the, uh, or is the, the ping class at or the ping perk sorry in a Losing Bravo. one of your teammates that will show you up on the map if you're near him so that takes you out of the mini map and so you can't be seen by that sorry I don't know why that was so hard to explain but anyways off the, back to off the grid yeah the satcom you're also off the grid so whether they have uh, two or three of them they won't see you on the map you won't be in the fast UAV or the advanced UAV which is awesome it allows you to continue to maintain your stealthiness and get behind them and then for the last perk that we're gonna use we're gonna use takedown takedown uh, allows you to kill the enemies and not show their position so if, say if there's two guys and you kill the guy behind him and he won't be able to whether it doesn't really matter where he's at but he won't be able to see the the skull and crossbones and he won't know that you're over in that general area he'll just know oh okay my teammate died so he must be somewhere but they won't know exactly which area you are in but it doesn't really matter um, as long as you're on the move with this class you'll do really good and then for the strike package I use the assault strike package I use SATCOM IMS and Trinity rocket you're gonna be using the SATCOM um, oh yeah and this is a little tip with it too is for the SATCOM you're gonna want to put the SATCOM somewhere in the back of their base um, while you're rushing them while you're trying to hide you want to be stealthy with these things you want to be very tactical you want to hide these as best as you can because this will give you an advantage over the enemy and you'll always know where they are and you can always flank them and then for the second assault uh, package kill streak you're gonna run the IMS or you can run a dog it this this is your choice too it's between the IMS or the dog the dog will allow you to run uh, fast through through like a building and say if you don't see a guy your dog will definitely pick him up uh, if he's behind you and then the IMS I use this uh,
to put between normally A or B or A and C depends on which flag they're holding and this allows your IMS to take out anybody that's trying to get to B helps your team out a little bit more so you can be more of a team player and then for the last one I'm using Trinity Rocket because if they're if they've already gone past the IMS sorry they've already gone past the IMS I can just call the Trinity Rocket in I can just shoot rockets at them if they've gone uh, gone to B or ahead of B uh, getting towards my team spawn so hope you guys enjoyed the class setup video please uh, continue to watch the gameplay I hope you guys enjoy don't forget to like the video and if you want to subscribe to see some more awesome stealth class setups or any class setups in general hit that subscribe button catch you guys Satcom uplink enabled. Losing Charlie. He's flanking around. We lost Charlie. Satcom ready. Enemy has C. Enemy Satcom spotted. Satcom uplink enabled. Securing Bravo. Ready for direction. Mark the DZ. Securing B. IMS ready for deployment. Bravo secure. Losing Alpha. We lost Alpha. Trinity rocket available. Enemy has A. Enemy SATCOM spotted. Incoming. Friendly Trinity rocket inbound. We've lost the lead! SATCOM ready. Alpha secure. SATCOM uplink enabled. Enemy has B. We're in the lead. Losing A. Enemy SATCOM spotted. Losing Charlie. Losing Alpha. We lost A. SATCOM uplink enabled. IMS ready for deployment. We lost C. Alpha secure. Trinity rocket inbound. Losing C. A secure. We're in the lead. Enemy SATCOM spotted. Losing C. We lost Charlie. Enemy has Charlie. We've lost the lead. Securing B. SATCOM up with the Bravo secure.
Mission accomplished. A good day's work. Thank <laughs> you.